Hey everyone, just want to create a quick video showing how to connect uh, active pieces with bot sheets webhooks. So we can see here I have a bot setup um, that is collecting a user's name, email, and phone number. And here I just have a simple active pieces flow which will catch that request and send an email based off it. So what we can do within active pieces is once you create this catch request trigger and select catch request, you'll get a URL that you can just copy into um, your bot sheets webhook webhook settings, uh, bot settings. I mean, sorry. And you can just go ahead and click test webhook. So within um, active pieces, I'll just click retest first and hit test. And we can see it imports our webhook data or schema. And we can go ahead and just save it here within bot sheets. And then once we have this here, we can just go into wherever you want to use that data. For example, here, I'm just sending that as an email to myself. And what you can do is just use that request in the body. So for example, here, say I want to just say hi to whoever their name is. I can just go in here and insert that name. And then I'll just do the other ones just as an example. Okay. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and publish your flow. And then we can go ahead and just test that. So if we go into a test spot, and uh, just say Joseph. And say I just share my email. It's Joseph at gmail.com. Okay. And then we can just go into our Gmail and we can see once it gets sent. Those are the other ones. Let's wait a bit. <laughs> okay, so it just executed saying the webhook. So if we refresh, we should see it here. And we see the name. And we remember that the bot actually didn't, or it asked for our phone number, but we didn't actually give it to the bots. And it wasn't a required field, so it's not going to ask again. So that's why this is empty. And then we gave it our email, and it copies in the email here. And if we go within active pieces, we can see our runs and we can see that this run, it accepted that webhook and it got our data here. And then just as a side note, let me go back to edit flow. When you're creating and using your uh, webhook data within other connections, you might notice that instead of just being able to instantly map it, you'll have to it'll create like a string that shows a trigger. And for example here, say we want to select their name and map that to a variable just called name. We'll see that it creates the string here and you just want to make sure that it follows this format because sometimes uh, unknowingly why, but active pieces seems to like to change this up a bit. So just make sure that it's this trigger body data and then whatever your, um, the data point that you're trying to collect's name is surrounded by the curly braces and then another note is that they love adding these two extra curly braces to the end so just make sure you delete those when you're using it and that should work fine awesome thank you